So, we woke up this morning um, 46 miles away from the top of Katahdin, 51 if you count the way back down. And our plan, today is Tuesday, was the summit on Thursday, the day after tomorrow, which means 20 miles today, 20 miles tomorrow, 5 miles up and 5 miles down on Thursday, so 10 miles on Thursday. But it's going to start raining tomorrow night at 11 p.m., and it's not going to stop until Sunday. Um, and so summiting on Thursday now means summiting in the rain. And there's always the chance that the rangers might not let us go up if it's raining bad. Um, and we don't want to summit in the rain. Uh, and everyone's talking about it. It's stressing us out a lot. Because there's like 11 people just talking about nothing but the upcoming rain. Um, and so me and Easy were thinking... Instead of camping where we were planning on camping tonight, we're just not going to stop. And we're going to hike through the night, into the morning, all day, and try to get to the top of Katahdin tomorrow afternoon, which would be insane. It would mean from this morning to tomorrow afternoon, doing 51 miles, um, which is crazy to think. But it would mean no rain, hopefully. And... It doesn't sound great, but neither does summoning in the rain. So that makes it kind of sound better, because neither idea is a good idea. Um, so it's just the least bad idea. So we're going to try to get to where we were planning on camping, eat some food, drink some caffeine, and take off again. We'd have to say goodbye to everyone, which would be sad, because Ziploc and Paris and Thigh Gap all caught back up. At White House Landing, so at least we got to see them. But we would be saying goodbye to everyone um, and going off on our own for the final push. But to be up there in the sun and not have to worry about doing the steep stuff in the rain seems like a really nice idea. You could also eat up there. Where you want? It's kind of bigger over there. All right, so we are at the Rainbow Lake tent sites. Um, just sat for an hour, ate a dinner, and the rest of our group is starting to show up now. So we're gonna say our goodbyes. And first goal is to try to make it another 3.6 miles. We've gone 19 point something. Um, and we're going to try for another 3.6, get there and see how we're feeling and just try to do it all in little chunks. That way we don't overwhelm ourselves. But yeah, this is going to be goodbye. All right. We just said goodbye to everyone. Um, didn't take any videos cause I just didn't want to, uh, but we're heading off now. Going to try to get 3.6 and reevaluate and go from there. How do you feel? I'm ready. How'd you feel saying bye? I was emotional. Yeah, it was really sad. Alright. We're 3.6 miles further. Sun's starting to set. It's really pretty. Got to the top of this climb, Katahdin, Baxter Peak, 21.2 miles. <sighs> Just gotta get that number down. <sighs> Alright, so we've reached the end of the 100 mile wilderness. That's the sign on the other side. 11 on the dot. 11 p.m. Still going strong. Alright, so we've made it to the Able Bridge campground. Um, and this is the southern part, or entrance, uh, to Baxter State Park. And between here and Birch's campsite at the base of Katahdin in 10 miles, 
we are not allowed to camp. Um, so we've done a 30 mile day. We could probably do five more, but we're not allowed to camp. I'm retired right now. So we either have to do 10 or we have to camp here, um, which limits our options a bit. So we'll probably end up camping here, right? Uh, maybe. All right, maybe. <coughs> Alright, we are at the southern entrance to Baxter State Park. It's 5 a.m. and the sun is slowly rising. We've got clouds in the sky, but we're still hoping we can beat the rain. Nine miles to the base of Katahdin. There it is. Secret boundary. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Just reading signs. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, so it is 9 a.m. now. Nope. 7 a.m. now. Mm hmm. 7 a.m. and we have 8.9 miles left to the top of Katahdin. So we'll be at the base in 3.6 3.6 miles, which isn't bad given that it's 7 a.m. Um, we'll be able to start heading up at pretty decent time. We're gonna take a break and eat a second breakfast once we get to the base though. So maybe start going up around 9 a.m. Seven point five miles to the peak. All right, so we have made it to the Katahdin Stream Campground. We're gonna go sign in at the ranger station. <sighs> so it is 8.30 and we have made it to the base of Katahdin, um, which means that we've done 40 miles in the past 23 hours. And once we leave here, we're gonna start going up. It's only 8.30. We did really good on time. I only slept four hours though. Hello. Hi. And who wants to go first? Your real name? Juliana Chauncey. C H A U N C E Y. And your child name? Chance. Same last name, just no Y. And an emergency contact number? Uh, 845. Hi there. Thanks.
This is probably our hardest climb yet. I'm sweating from everywhere and it is pretty steep and scary. Not gonna lie. Finally smiled. <laughs> All right, we made it. Walked 2,200 miles to see that sign. And now I can go home. <laughs> Every day is zero after this. Thanks for following. So we are at the bottom now. We came down the same way we went up and we are officially done walking. Um, and the best part of this whole story is that right when we got down to the ranger station we saw General's pack and our whole group that we said bye to yesterday all sad is rolling up right now as we are heading back down and so we're gonna be able to see everyone again and say bye one more time and it's just crazy how it all works out. Okay.